Hey y'all, how y'all doing? We are out here, it is Friday evening. What time is it? It is 7.52, almost eight o'clock. Perfect, perfect. Let me get me some um, Carmex. I keep meaning to pick up some of that. Um... Oh my God. Lane, she recommended it for me. I gotta go pick that up, girl. I, I ain't forget, but I got so much Carmex, I gotta use it up too. <laughs> but um, I just came to TJ Maxx. I needed a little bit of retail therapy. So I'm in the TJ Maxx parking lot and I went to TJ Maxx yesterday and I got me a new work bag. And I meant to um show you guys. So when I get home, I'll just add that in to this lovely haul that I have right here. I wanted to come out the house. I was in my head today. Um, I had kind of a little mild anxiety attack. So once my day was over, I was like, you know what, Kelly, go take a nap. So I took a nap and I really couldn't sleep. My mom was just racing, 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 racing. And I said, you know what, Kelly, go out the house for a little bit. I knew I needed gas. So I went and got me some gas. $50, I should have went to BJ's and I I forgot I was coming over to a little mall where I could have um, went to the BJ's over here. But um, I forgot, it's okay. But I feel better now, you know, my, my anxiety, it didn't get the best of me this time because I couldn't take a nap so I had to just keep pushing through but I did say <laughs> we gonna spend some money I need some retail therapy because yesterday didn't didn't cut it today cut it I didn't buy a lot but it was the fact that I spent more than well yesterday I spent about $70 but it didn't cut it I only had two items no one two three I had three items that didn't that didn't fix the retail therapy that didn't fix it but today i spent 137 and got some gas and i feel bad now i spent about almost 200 so that's enough that's enough so i feel good and i like what i got i got some undergarments always love good undergarments you know Especially, I feel like now since the pandemic, I'm doing more laundry. Do you guys feel like that? I feel like I was washing clothes on a weekly basis. But for some reason, since the pandemic, I feel like I wash like twice a week. Loads. And I think it's because I may change clothes more than once. I may have like what I wear during the day and then I'll change again at night. So I have like two sets of clothes. So I guess, yeah, it makes sense now. Now I have like two, um, I got bit. It's like double the clothes that are dirty. Oh God, look at the, look at how it's eight o'clock at night. And look at how the, the camera is capturing this color here. I love it. We're gonna start doing night vlogs. That's it. Night vlogs. <laughs> so, um, I wanna chit chat with y'all about something. Not that any other day makes a difference, but something about today really, really struck a nerve with me in regards to my business that I got going on here, right? I feel like I don't take it serious enough. I really, I really do. I really feel like I play it safe. Um, I don't, I don't go in like I need to go in and like pretty much like my daughter say bet on myself, you know, I. I need to stop playing safe and just do the damn thing. Um, Y'all, I think I need glasses. I made myself a doctor's appointment. I, I don't mean to start what I was getting ready to talk about, but I happen to pass where I'm gonna go get my eyes checked at um, in about two weeks. So you know I'm taking you guys with me because she be, eyes be bugging out. So we gotta get these eyes checked. But back to what I was saying, I really feel like I play it safe when it comes to my business. I feel like I could do more. I feel like I could push myself more. And you know, my blog, a lot of people 
blogging is not that you know what i mean video is where it's at let's keep this let's put that at the forefront video is where it's at um any kind of video if it's short form long form video because we are more visual people and things like tiktok and instagram is where it's at you know stuff like that because we're so visual we want to you know see and we want to see everything quick it's about grabbing that attention all right but blogging is still there and it's a very lucrative business very and my blog is, is it does well but it can do so much better and sometimes i feel like i'm a i'm a i am afraid of success and that's just being a hundred with you guys i feel like i am afraid of success i feel like i know how to go to my job and be that good employee and you know get that work done and get that well used to get that pat on the back you know and that's probably why i'm pissed now at work why i ain't getting them pats on the back but you know we sometimes us we conditioned and we we're trained for that type of stuff instead of us patting ourselves on the back and I feel like I go so hard for my job and I don't go that hard for my business and I know if I just give three months we're going harder than what I am going harder it could be something really big you know and I don't mean big like but I mean big enough to where it's an impact you know I got my tribe, you know, y'all roll with me. I, I got this going, you know, all of that good stuff. I gotta get out of my head. I really do. I have to take my blogging business serious. My business serious. I do. I really do. I do take it, so don't get me wrong, I take it serious. If I didn't take it serious, I wouldn't be posting. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be talking to you guys. I wouldn't be, you know, editing and, you know, doing the thing that, that has to be done behind the scenes to even make this happen. You know what I mean? But so much more can happen. I can bring so much more to the table if I wasn't playing it safe. Does that make any sense? make any sense mm. I, it makes sense to me you know I just know you know even if I can't like touch everybody I at least want to touch one person to let them know that you can do anything you want to do like I could do anything that I want to do but sometimes we hold ourselves back we hold ourselves back so much and I really realized like today this week, really, and I, I hold myself back a lot. I was having a conversation with one of my girlfriends. We had a long, drawn-out conversation on in text message. And we were just going, 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 going. And that's the kind of friends I love and I always want to be have dear to me. That no matter how we communicate, or how long it, we don't communicate in between, it's still good. I, I love that. I don't want to feel pressured in my friendships, you know. But back to what I was saying. I feel like I play it safe, and I um I just said the word and I forgot. Play it safe, and I um even in my personal life, I do feel like I could do so much more. But I like I, I like structure, I like foundation, and I like security. And not that you can't have all of that by betting on yourself and doing more. Sometimes you don't want to rock the boat, if that makes any sense. But I think I'm ready to rock the boat. I know I'm ready to rock the boat. Yeah. Yeah. So... That's my little spiel on <laughs> me taking, you know, my blogging business serious and turning my blog.
dog into a, a super business, like really doing the damn thing. And I've been doing my SEO, and and that too by getting into them extra modules, it was like things was just clicking like you dingbat, like Kelly, like you. And I feel like that was the best five hundred and twenty five dollars I've spent. That's probably the only thing I've ever bought since I've been in um since I've been doing um YouTube and blogging. That's the only con that's the only thing I've ever paid for. What happened here? Oh. Okay. So I've never um I never paid for anything before. So yeah, I'm just thinking my so me buying that SEO class that I um purchased, that was the best thing that I, I, I did. And I've never purchased anything else since I've been doing, you know, content creation of any sort. And I'm I'm grateful. I'm grateful that I I, I put that money in. Cause I wish I was it earlier, but you know what? I didn't know about that earlier. I didn't know about other SEO classes, but I've heard so much about this one by bigger bloggers who talk about how it elevated them in their business. Now I see why. Now it's a matter of, Kelly, you got the knowledge, you got the information, because you paid for it. Now it's a matter of you implementing it, executing it, and doing all that good jazz. That's where the work comes into play. You know what I mean? That's where to see if you built for this type of stuff comes into play. Paying for it ain't nothing. You know what I mean? We all can do that. Doing a class ain't nothing. We all sit down a couple of hours a day and do something, you know, buy some time. You know, buy your books, do whatever. Get yourself ready. But it's about executing. It's about executing. So, I don't want to keep rambling. I don't ramble enough. <laughs> Let's um, get in. I'm going to show you. Um, Let's get in the house. Let me show you this TJ Maxx haul I got. I am super excited about. And I'm going to tell you something else. I wanted to buy something. But I was on the fence about spending my money on it. But... I bought this instead. So I'm gonna show you what it is. And I'm gonna go from here. See you in the house. <laughs> okay, so we back in the house. I want a glass of wine. Have a glass of wine with me, please. I need to unwind a little bit. Um I wanna um I love Prosecco. I like champagne. This is like the next best thing to champagne. If you can't get your hands on some like Boo, some um, any type of champagne that you may like, Moet, whatever, get some Prosecco. Prosecco comes in different brands. I, I like this brand. I like a few, but this one I do, um, I do like this one. But um, yeah, it's Friday night. What time is it? 8.16. I got to the house quick. I was like, you know what, Kelly? Have a glass of a wine, champagne, do something. So, we gonna do that, y'all. Making out my old faithful glass. <laughs> I got my orange juice here. I gotta get something to grip this. Yes, we love that, don't we? Friday night. I cannot wait. You know what? Let me stop procrastinating on this hangout. Because we're going to have our drinks. Bring your drink to the hangout. Don't, um, don't forget that. So now let's go upstairs and do this haul. <laughs> okay. 
I'm excited about what I have. I have my drink here. If you have a drink, go get yours. Mm. Just what I need. Let me show you first. Excuse this mess back here. Like, I don't know what to do with all these clothes that I bought. I'm wearing this dress tomorrow. Let me, before I get into the haul, let's have a little extra little chit chat. So, you guys know I did a video talking about my one year um, therapy. And I mentioned to you about me having daddy issues and stuff like that. Even at the age of 45. Because um, I never addressed them, you know. And that does affect you in dating and things like that. But um, that's not the video for this. I'll have, have another one about that. But my father is in town. So um, they're having a family reunion. My father's originally from Durham, North Carolina. Out here in Raleigh and stuff like that. So um, his family is here and stuff. So I'm not really close with them like that. Maybe one or two of my cousins I am close with. That I do hang out with every now and then. We go out and get drinks and stuff like that. But for the most part... It's more so my mother's side. So I am wearing this dress tomorrow to the cookout. It might be a little extra, but I'm like, what else gonna get you to wear this damn dress? And I'm gonna wear um my coach bag to add some color and one of my little Zara slots. Keep it simple. Now I may change. I may not want to wear that come tomorrow. But that's what that's what the outfit's gonna be looking like tomorrow. Most likely I'll keep that. So let me get into what i purchased yesterday from tj maxx i need a new work bag because my work bag broke on me in my parking lot of my job so can you imagine you carrying your laptop my personal laptop at that and then next thing you know the freaking strap goes and your your bag is on the floor and you hear it drop Luckily, I had a bunch of nonsense in it, and I had a sweater in that bag. That kind of braced the fall, because I'd have been devastated if my bag, my laptop would have um, broke. But um, that's what I get for not getting, not carrying a laptop bag that I had. I showed you guys my green one. I had some little wonky donkey one that was in my jobs um, supply closet. I said, let me carry this one. Why I did that, I don't know. But I went and bought a new one. Let me show you. Here she is. I wanted something that was just like basic. Um, I went to TJ Maxx. No, I went to um, Target. Target had one on their website that was more like the, um, was something similar to this. Well, you probably can't even see it. That more similar to what the Zara bag looked like, but just bigger and the strap was longer. I don't want a long strap. I want to be able to put this on my arm and then wear it. And it's just pretty much right at waist length. That's what I want. So this bag is super simple. The hardware on it is just, is, is decent. It's what I need. You know, I've only paid $34.99 for this bag. And the original price on the bag, it says $45. The hardware on the bag is nice. It's very simple. Not only can I wear it on the shoulder, I can definitely carry it in the hand. It has some hardware here with like faux leather on the straps. In addition to um, inside, if you can notice here, there's some straps. There's like a little compartment here that you can take out, like a, 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 like a removable purse, if you will. But if you have anything personal that you just don't want laying around in your bag, you can kind of secure it with the zipper area. So... What I'm going to do in that piece, I'm going to put my laptop in that area. And it has other compartments inside as well. Oh, my camera just shook. <laughs> so it has other compartments inside as well. You can put your cell phone. Um, you got a zipper on the inside. And then the rest of the bag is pretty much like an open, you know, tote bag. So I like it. I mean, I can wear it like this with the handles hanging out. Um, I can wear it like this on the hand and it's not super duper big. I'm not sure how it's coming across on the camera, but it's nice. It's faux leather. It's not real leather. I thought it was. And you know what? No, it's faux leather. And it has a snap right here just to kind of keep things closed or whatever the case may be. So this is going to be my work bag where I carry... Like my personal things, like I usually walk with my my planner, my laptop, um, and other little do that I need 
to function for my day and my personal life. And I can also put my purse in here. So I don't really carry big bags as you see. A lot of my bags are small. So it can definitely fit in here. You know, if I just want to throw my bag inside my bag. <laughs> but I do need something to carry my laptop. I do carry my laptop when I go into work. And, um, you know, I go back to, to the office officially September 7th after um, Labor Day. So I'm just being proactive and I got my work bag. And then my next thing is I'm going to um, just give me some new work clothes. I'm not going to get no new work clothes for the month of September. I think I'm going to wait until like October, like when the fall stuff come out because I have clothes that I can definitely wear for um, now. And I have a ton of maxi dresses. Some that do not fit me tight. They fit me like loose. And I have a lot of cardigan sweaters that I can wear over. My office is not super businessy. It's like business casual. So a nice pair of um, slacks, maybe a button down shirt. I have a ton of those. So I can, I think I can kind of get through and maneuver. I'm really more focused on my baby because it's back to school for her. And I want to make her feel as comfortable as possible because, you know, what we're going through, the pandemic and everything, I want to make sure that, you know, she feels good. She got all her things that she needs so she could be on her A-game in school. Okay, so what else I bought yesterday when I picked up this bag? I spent 70 bucks. I bought some face cream. I bought some retinol because, um... They have, like a, they have like a skin, you know, they have all that skincare and spa section inside TJ Maxx. So I picked up some Olay Retinol Cream, the nighttime cream. It's in the bathroom. I spent, I think, about $6 on it. So I bought that. And then I bought these. I picked up this bag right here. This bag is a dupe for something. I don't know what it's a dupe for, but i like the bag it's cute it's not designer this is definitely a fake fold but i like the style i thought it was cute it's like a gray type silvery you know i would say gray but you know it has the gold hardware the hardware on here is amazing like the chain everything i mean they thought about this the bag itself is plastic believe it or not this is a super durable hard industrial plastic and it has the nerve to even have hardware on the bag like you could clip it so the bag is super cute it has the nerve to have some cute hardware on it when you squeeze this you put my finger underneath so it can pop up and then you just lift it up isn't this super cute this bag is straight freaking plastic you hear me now this is the actual um strap the strap right here is plastic all day but i don't care about that that's gonna stay in this bag and the only thing i'm going to expose is the chain i'm gonna put my my cell phone my wallet lip gloss whatever the case may be and i'm gonna rock it just like this i can see me wearing this bag with a pair of blue jeans deep blue black light blue whatever a pair of strappy um sandals toes out or even some um shoes where your toes is in i can't think of the name of the shoe right now i can't even think of shoes and a tank top or a tube top i'm a, i love i love tank tops i'm sure you guys can tell by now because i love my little walmart tanks i wear these to death um and just like all put together makeup fresh cut can't tell me nothing so i bought that and you guys know I love me some paper. So I bought like a little, um, it doesn't say anything on it. It just say a list pad or a notepad. It has some fine lines on it. Probably can't see through the lighting. It's a nice lavender. It has stars on it and it says, it's written in the stars. And it has magnetic, it has magnets. It has magnets on the back of them. So two came in the pack and was $4.99. So about $2.50 a piece. It was super cute. I want to put it on the refrigerator to um, when things run out because I'm a kind of person. Today I went to the grocery store and we spent so much money. And then when I came back, I was like, oh my God, I forgot this. I forgot that. I said, Kelly, start being proactive. Put this on the refrigerator and whatever we need and what's missing in the fridge or in the pantry, I can write it down and I can be effective in the grocery store instead of shopping while you're hungry. You know how that goes. <laughs> so let's get in so let's get into what i got today 
today was a more eventful trip. I tell y'all need to retell therapy because your girl was anxiety was through the roof. Um, I feel a little bit better today. I feel I feel a little bit better now. I'm not as tense as I was, but um, yeah. So let me show you. So first up, I got me some undergarments. You can never go wrong with undergarments, and I've never had a bad experience with any undergarments inside of TJ Maxx. Now, only thing that I may have had a problem with, they might have been too small because <laughs> I didn't get the right size. Looking at the looking at the cups and stuff like that, and be like, oh yeah, I can fit, I can fit it. But no, I am a solid 36 double D, and I have to. Um, get that size you guys know i purchased some bras from walmart this bra that i have on another walmart bra this is a victoria's secret bra but even my walmart bra sits me up better than this and don't sleep on walmart and they undergarments especially their bras undies mm. but um the bras yes and they wash well so what i got oh i didn't tell you the price of the bags so I told you the bag, my my um, work bag, my tote is was thirty four ninety nine. That silver looking gray bag was nineteen ninety nine, and you know how much the pads cost. That was writing pads. That was for four ninety nine. So these bras that I got, I got a, I guess you would say a three pack. What is this? Oh, I said I know the bra ain't ripping. But I said I never had a problem with any bras that I purchased from. TJ Maxx, I tried to look them over and kind of see, you know, how I wear. I know I'm a little rough, you know, around the edges when I'm putting things on and stuff like that. These bras do not have a underwire. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but we about to figure it out. <laughs> um, I know I do like underwire. This is a comfort wire-free bra. I know one of my doesn't have one either. I hope I didn't do anything bad because I think I was looking at something, and it's and it said um. Mm, I'm about to try one of these on because I would hate to have all these bras and they don't do what they're supposed to do. Okay, so these are a 36 double D, and they don't have any underwire. They're comfort bras. And the reason why I bought this, because the way they look at the front, if you guys can see, I wanted more of a, like a seamless bra, if you will. I didn't want the bra to like, like a t-shirt bra, if that makes any sense. Not like what I have on. I wanted a bra that would pretty much be like seamless. And I guess this is what this is. So I really, it's wire free, but it's not seamless. Anywho. These bras was $20.99 for all three of these bras. So, ladies, don't sleep on TJ Maxx. Now, only thing, TJ Maxx do have other bras. They do have, like, I've purchased DKNY bras from there. I've purchased, um, oh, my God, so many different bras. A lot of name brand and designer name undergarments. Um. They had some New Balance stuff in there today, but I wasn't on a New Balance kick today. I wanted something very seamless, and I wanted something more neutral. And I wanted comfort. You know, I still want support, but I want comfort. I'm sitting here now hoping and praying that these hold my boobies up. Because I do have a lot. I mean, I, try, I keep them very confined. But, um, there's no wire here. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous now. I'm going to try this on. Let me finish this video. So I have a olive green. I do love olive. This is a nice beige. And you know you need to always have to have a black. Then I also purchased another trio. It came with this mauve color, another beige, and another black. You can never have enough bras. I like to always um re-up on my, my undergarments every three to six months. Even if they are still good, I like to always just keep them in rotation. Because you know, those things you wash a lot. And you have to keep them, you know, keep them clean and keep them handy. <laughs> so next up, nothing is any um, matchy matchy, but I'm of a kind of a matchy matchy gal. So I wanted to get something that would match my undergarments. So I found these undies and I was so surprised that they matched um, my bras. So 
this is more of a comfort thingy here i got the boy shorts and this here was 14.99 and i got one two three four five so i got the olive green i got um like a pinky nude i got a beige i got that mauve to match the bra i got the olive to match the bra and i got a chocolate brown this is the boy shorts now I've been seeing a lot of women out here talking so much about the skim, 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 skim. I know it's all about the material. That material has been around forever. I wasn't going to pay that kind of money for skim. Uh, oh, God, don't break it, Kelly. I didn't spend money for skim. So I said, you know what, Kelly? Go ahead and get these and see if you even want to be a part of the boy short gang. Because um, I don't know. I wear a lot of thongs. And I do wear whole bikini panties during that time of the month but i'm more of a thong girl but uh, i got a size medium because i was like you know i don't want no wedgies <laughs> so i got these and just to kind of put them together they're all you, okay so i broke the hanger i'm i'll say i'm rough y'all you really can't tell the color but they do match but you can't tell due to the lighting that um my light is giving because it's so dark in here and then i picked up some thongs these are uh a different brand i think is it oh same brand um danskin intimates so these are super soft panties which they soup they really are they're super super soft i have to watch all this stuff so these were five panties for 12.99 so these are the thongs and this is pretty much the same color scheme but it definitely matches with my um my undies now this doesn't this is not a dead on match with the mauve but it's close enough for the price you know if i want something dead on i could go to like you know victoria's secret or uh soma and get matchy matchy if i want to get dead on but for the price as much as i got for you know this is a good deal so i am straight for a little while in the undergarment department <laughs> to go along to go along with what i have Next up, I purchased two pocketbooks. Let me get me a sip. Oh, that was a good sip. So next up, I got me two pocketbooks. Now, I like that little bag so much, that little silver bag. When I went in there, I went right to the bag section. But I was like, you know what? I wanted to kind of make sure they didn't have any other totes that might have been better than the TJ Maxx that I went to yesterday. And I was like, you know what? That was a different one. This one is the one that I normally go to. I said, they got, let me see if they have anything that I'm missing out on. I'll bring the other one back and I'll keep the one I had. You know how we do. We always want to see if we're doing the right thing. So, they didn't have anything. Thank God. <laughs> but I did find something else. I found that bag in black, y'all. $20. Another El Chifo. So, I picked this one up and... I thought it was super cute. I think I think this is just a super cute bag. I know it's a dupe for something. I cannot think what it is, but this bag is straight plastic. Do you not listen to me? I cannot wear this bag right now. Be the melt on my arm, but I can definitely get a good wear of it coming to fall when it's more cold <laughs> because it's hot. as I don't know what out here in North Carolina right now, but I just think this bag is just too cute. It's too adorable. And I'm going to get some really good wear out of this bag. Like, I can really dress this bag up. I really can. I like it. I do. <laughs> I, I can be so simple sometimes. Like, I, I love it. So, the next bag I purchased, this was like on the whim. Okay, let me put this over here. This is my receipt. I got to find my other receipt. So, um, I found this little cute little number. Look at her. Okay, so this strap here would, I probably would just take the strap off, put it inside the bag. Or maybe you can carry it like this if you want to, if, you know, but this bag here was $24.99. I don't even know who it's by. Oh, Ann Klein. I didn't care who the bag was by. I thought the bag was super cute. Original price on this bag was $68. Oh, I just burned. Sixty-eight dollars for this light pink. They called it an incline maxi tote. Isn't this cute? Okay, you guys can kind of see. I have like a. I like a certain kind of bag. 
I do like little mini totes because I have one in Kate Spade. I have one in Coach. I have this one now. And I have some other ones that I don't even show you guys. But I do like bags like this. I like easy going bags where you can kind of like throw your stuff in and whatnot. So let's kind of see what's in this bag. Because, you know, this is the bag that... Now, you know, my Kate Spade and my coach don't have this. This bag has a little compartment on the inside. Let me show you. Where you can kind of put your little wallet and your change in and keep it nice and secure. And it has a little pocket right here. Okay. And it has this nice little um, braided drawstring. Look at this. Isn't this adorable? This isn't, isn't this adorable? I don't know if I would keep the, the, the strap on or hit the strap off and just wear the bag like this. I, I don't know. This is too adorable. I like this. This is such a good find. They didn't have this at the other TJ Maxx. I'm going to restuff my bag. Okay, so she's restuffed. So I got to find, I need to do something with this room. All I'm doing is shopping, shopping, and more shopping, and bringing more junk in this room. And more clothes, and more clothes, and more clothes. Last but not least, I was going with my best friend. We was just talking, talking, talking. And I was just telling her about some things that I'm going through right now. And she was just like laying it out there for me, you know. Nothing that my therapist didn't tell me. It's like... Why don't I get it and everybody else get it? But I don't know. I guess I'm the one living it, right? So I bought myself a mug. And it says queen right here. And it says queen on the back. So I bought a mug. This mug was $3.99. And I thought this would be cute for me to um, either keep at home. Because we're going to be back at home. I'm, I'm, I I'm, I'm know that for sure. But I was my taking this to the office when I go in so I can have a nice mug to drink out of my coffee when I get to work. So I don't know if it's going to be a, a house mug or a work mug. I'm not too sure. But I, I, I purchased this one. I don't even know where it cut off at. I so apologize. My camera cut off because I was recording too long. I should have been paying attention. But, um, yeah. I don't want this. I got to take this one back because um, I don't want... I want a pad like this. I don't want this pad back here. I thought they were both the same. So I'm going to take this back tomorrow. That goes back tomorrow. I am going to keep this. I do like um, mouse pads. So I can write on this. What I'm going to use this for is just to kind of write out my videos for the week. Includes 52 tarot sheets for the year of planning. Okay. I want to use this for my um, videos. I mean, I already dropped my videos down elsewhere, but just to kind of be at the forefront so I'll know what I'm doing because I don't like this Monday start business. I'm a Sunday start kind of girl, so I don't know. I, don't know. I might take this one back too. <laughs> I'm so picky. <laughs> But y'all, that is my haul. I'm going to go look at my other one to make sure that that one is a Sunday start. And it's probably not. It's probably a Monday start because, you know, usually you start your work day and you do Monday through Friday. So, we'll see. I got bit so bad on my elbow. And it's like a knot. Oh, my God. But, um, yeah, that's my haul. Thanks for having a drink with me. I greatly appreciate it. Nice mimosas. My daughter picked out the orange. It has all this pulp in the glass. She likes pulp. But, um, yeah. This is what I had. This is what I picked up. It's my some good retail therapy. Much needed. I had a little, almost a, a bad anxiety. But I reeled it in. I reeled it in quick. <laughs> And that's good when you know it's coming and whatnot and you know you feel and you can just feel the pressure if it's work, personal life, all that good jazz. I knew I needed to like cut off. But I got through my day and that's where we are.
So, I want to say hey to all my new subscribers. Hey to all my lawyers. Thanks for hanging out. Me catch you in my next video. Bye.